Okay, so if we show this work area, that chord cadence is exactly what we used in our first improvisation. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 56, Choosing Part 2. In today's episode, we reflected on our re-entry. This is going to take a while. That is making a suite for C242. We're calling it Buddha's Dilemma, and we now have, we have a, a structure of 10 arcs, we feel. And we've been going through now a lot of pigment grinding, uh, generating chord sequences like you just heard that resulted in a good improvisation one. Um, and sometimes we're grinding out the pigments and sometimes we're just rolling around in the paint and we're slapping the cadences on a score and then smooshing it around to find something we like. On the other hand, the more methods that we work with, the better, because these are more tools in our toolkit recipes in our recipe box. And we always have to remember that even a simple eight note scale can be used to make things never heard before. We did a little mathematical exercise showing that just on a piano, you would easily have one followed by a thousand zeros possible melodies. And the other thing we really noticed is going back and forth between our two improvisations, you just heard improvisation one, and this is improvisation two, the first few bars. Hear how different that is? The, uh, the first one goes like this. La, da, da. This one goes. <clears throat> La, da, da. And they both are very consistent with each other and, and they're both based on the same scale. They come from different cadence sequences. And today we really went back and forth between them. We cleaned up one and the annotation. Number two, thank goodness, we completed adding all the new cards, chords to Improvisation 2. We're going to play that for you. We updated our blueprint for Buddha's Dilemma, which we just showed you up here, showing what we've done so far with uh, the Improvisation 2, and then speculating what we might do next to develop new material. Because we only have 60 seconds, and we're looking for something like, I don't know, 300? And in order to do that, we made a bunch more sorting of cadences into different orders. So what we're going to do is two things. We're going to play uh, the, the updated version of Improvisation 2, and then we're going to play some chord cadences for you. So here is Improvisation 2 so far. And one thing we really like about the updated version is we've added back in the major, new major minor chords and made this kind of this third arc have that much more warm feeling that we're after. This is the figures work area. And uh, again, we're just going to show you what you just heard is everything using chords greater than two. We'll play this the fast version.
So these are the new sequences that we're going to work with. As you can tell, they're, they're low consonants. And then here are the middle consonants chord sequences. And in the structure, these are kind of the transitional, transformational between this low dissonance and high dissonance. At least that's the game plan. So that concludes today's stream. Uh, in our next time ideas, make more improvisations using the two new sequences you just heard. We do want to keep adding melody lines uh, and look further at our blueprint. Acknowledgements to Robin Lord, who came back and checked in today. Thanks a lot. Always good to see you, Robin. All of you, thank you for your time, attention, Curiosity and interest do come back, do take care, and do keep on streaming.